So I'm going to start a series of lectures covering all the topics of physics of class 11th and 12 in subsequent subsequent videos. And today's my topic is quantity, dimension, and measurement. So whatever the objects we are seeing in the nature, so all have some characteristics. All have some characteristics. Suppose if I'm talking about a chalk, chalk, chalk having a length of you say two centimeter, and another chalk having a length of ten centimeter. So means we are saying that this uh, this this chalk is a uh, smaller in size this one is bigger in size so what uh, means what uh, if if i am explaining in terms of uh, scientific terms scientific scientific words uh, then we are saying talking what length uh, so we are saying length length of this chalk is smaller compared to that compared to compared to this uh, or you say length of this chalk is 2 cm and length of uh, another one is known as 10 cm okay so suppose if i am talking about a uh, Body, you say suppose I'm talking about a ball, ball having a weight of 5 kg and another ball having a weight of, uh, you say, having a weight of 10 kg. So what uh, means uh, both are uh, spherical nature, but uh, this is more, this is lighter one and this is heavier one. But uh, we are saying that the weight of this ball is, is 5 kg and the weight of this ball is 10 kg or you say weight of this ball is high, is, is, is more compared to this, this, uh, this, uh, this ball, this ball having weight is 5 kg okay so another 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 characteristic that is known as that is weight we are we, we are dealing with so we have seen there is a number of objects in the nature all have all have uh, some characteristics okay so so what so it means uh, those uh, so what do you say means uh, so those quant those uh, those objects uh, which can, those those uh, those characteristics which can get measured, which can get measured is termed as physical quantity. Or we say means whatever the quantity we are seeing in the nature, say, if if we can measure it, so those are known as physical those are known as physical quantity. But uh, but also that should follow some physical physical some physical rules. That is laws of physics. That is you say Newton's law. Newton's uh, law, some heat laws. Sorry, this is heat law. The heat laws. It is it. Means these are the laws. Means these are different laws. Or you say there are laws in physics that also should be followed by those quantity. Then it is termed as physical quantity. So we can also define it an object or phenomena in the nature which we can measure is known as physical quantity. It should follow the physics of the it, it should follow the laws of physics okay so means uh, what so we so we can say the physical quantities can be categorized in two broad classes physical quantities categorized in two broad classes one is known as fundamental quantity and another one is known as derived quantity okay this is also known as basic basic quantity okay so means fundamental quantities are those quantities or those characteristics those characteristics which cannot be expressed in other other in other units or you say in others okay suppose if i'm talking about a suppose if i'm talking if if i'm going to a shop and saying to the shopkeeper give me a ball of five meter means uh, this uh, this some this is this this sounds some somewhat awkward okay so or you say suppose if you are going to a cloth shop and you are say, you are saying to the shopkeeper that uh, oh give me a oh give me a give me a cloth having weight equals 5 kg so what means so 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 means means it means that we cannot express the physical talk it, it we cannot express the fundamental quantity in terms of fundamental one fit fundamental quantity in terms of another fundamental quantity suppose if i am saying means my mean to say that we cannot we cannot explain mass we cannot explain mass in terms of length 
okay since both are fundamental quantity so we cannot explain mass in terms of length or you say suppose if i am saying that uh, suppose if i am saying 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 that uh, say saying suppose if uh, uh, suppose uh, what do you say uh, length in terms of temperature i will say length in terms of uh, temperature so this can't be possible since both are fundamental quantity and uh, and we cannot ex we cannot uh, explain length in terms of temperature so means what fundamental quantities are those are those quantities which cannot be which cannot be expressed in terms of another fundamental quantities okay that is known that is the characteristic of the fundamental quantities okay so there are seven there are seven basic there are seven fundamental quantities that is mass length time temp Temperature, okay, and uh, electric current, luminous intensity, last one is you say mole of substance, mole or is amount of substance. So all have their SI units. All have their SI units. Suppose if I am saying mass, mass having the SI unit is known as a, is mass having the SI unit is kilogram. Length having the SI unit is meter, meter. Time having the SI unit is in second. Temperature we are temperature Kelvin. Okay, electric current ampere. Luminous intensity and delta, delta, and this is amount of substance that is mole. So, what is these are the fundamental quantities? These are fundamental quantity. These are SI SI units. Okay. So, suppose if I am saying that, uh, suppose if I am saying that is what, and one thing I have to let me explain one thing. That is, uh, that is. Suppose if I have a cup of tea and uh, having temperature is sixty degrees C, so means uh, what is it? See, means cup of tea yeah, having temperature temperature sixty degrees C, and uh, you say it is hot, and you are saying it is hot. So means what uh, temperature? Temperature is the physical quantity. Physical quantity and uh, and what Celsius? Celsius is unit. Okay. So means uh, suppose if I will say that uh, a ball having a weight of five kilogram. So five kilogram or you say mass means mass is the fundamental quantity. Mass is the or you say mass is the physical quantity and physical quantity and this kg is the unit. Kg is the unit. Okay. So means we have seen we have we have we have seen means the seven fundamental quantities and their units SI SI units. Okay. Means there are two also. Two, two also supplementary unit. That is one is a radian, and another one is stellar. Yeah. Since uh, means what? Uh, both fund both are also fundamental. Both are also means uh, both are also both also comes under the category of fundamental unit. Since it uh, came later, or you say we came we came to know about uh, these units later. That's why. We are calling it supplementary units. Supplementary units, okay. And uh, radian 
also we are abbreviating it by radian and steradian we are saying it as r okay so <clears throat> these are what uh, these these so these are the fundamental quantity we have seen now let me see let me explain something regarding system of units there are four system of unit one is known as cgs another one is known as fps third one is known as mks fourth one is known as si that is c g s cgs that is full form is centimeter gram second or it was set up actually it, it was set up in france france the set up of cgs system was took place in france second one is known as f as that is foot pound system and the setup took place in britain okay and third one third one is known as mks meter kel meter kilogram second okay and the last one is known as si si or we are also calling it international system international international system and uh, in in french what we are calling it system the system system international the units what is system it came from the french word actually system international the units and uh, the abbreviated form of this is known as si Well, so these are the four system of units. Also means whatever the units you will see means uh, actually belongs from these four classes: CGS, FPS, MKS, and SI. Okay, yeah. so up to up till now we have studied, we have seen about uh, fundamental quantities. Now I am going to explain about derived quantities. Derived quantities are those quantities which are, which are derived from the fundamental quantities. Suppose if I am saying, say, suppose if I am talking about area, area is you can also write it in terms of length into length. So what area depends upon means area is a function of fundamental quantity. Or you say area, area we are writing area in terms of length into length and length into length, length, length and length both are what both are fundamental quantity. Okay. So we are so in say so from here we can say area area depends upon the fundamental quantity. If I if I talk about volume, so volume we can write it in terms of length into length into length. So what volume is also a physical quantity, physical quantity which depends upon the fundamental quantities. Okay, so this physical quantity is known as derived quantity. Okay, suppose if I am talking about the speed. So third one, suppose in example, speed is equal to what distance per unit time. Distance per unit time. So what distance is what distance? Uh, also you can say it. This is length. I think some what unit is meter and uh, this is time. So what length and time also both are the fundamental quantity. So speed also depends upon the fundamental quantity. Okay, so and suppose if uh, another example, if I'm taking density, this is mass per unit volume. So mass is what mass is the fundamental quantity, volume is the derived quantity. So means what density? Density is also a physical quantity which depends upon the which depends upon which depends upon fundamental quantity, and this is derived quantity. So Means these all are derived quantities. Okay, so these all are derived quantities. So means uh, in today I am stopping here, and uh, in the next class I will I I, I will explain I, I will explain what is dimension. Dimension means the next topic will be regarding dimension. So please 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 be continue with me. in the next video okay thank you